Welcome. So one of the most common questions I'm asked by my students and my clients is, how do I assess what's going on in my energy field? How do I find out where my past live issues are held? Where are my child consciousness developmental traumas are held in my physical body and in my energy system? How do I track the negative emotions or beliefs I might be holding in my energy field, in my physical body, and how might I track that in somebody else? Where might I have taken on other people's energy? And where might I have taken on some ancestral lineage, some stuff from my parents or from my partner? And so the answer to that is what we're going to look at today. I call it awakening radical intuition. So the first step in this process is to understand how do you personally perceive energy and how do you track what's going on? What are your unique gifts and your unique way of assessing the consciousness of energy in your physical body? So I want to explain this a little bit more. Energy, energy higher vibrational energy or lower vibrational energy that holds pain and challenge is actually the physical medium that connects your mind with your body. So let me explain it another way. We have this brilliant divine mind, but we also have a brain that can influence and bring us out of our divinity our divine mind, right? So energy connects the physical body, including the brain, with that divine mind, that essence of your brilliance. So as you learn how to track the lower vibrational energy in your body, you can bring in the higher frequency of divine mind into the physical body, shift the pain and challenge come back into the brilliance of who you really are. So how do you do this? And how do you actually track the energy of those lower vibrational frequencies of pain and challenge? Radical intuition, that's how you do it. And let me help you with the first step. So our chakra system is actually um, a system that helps you track and sense energy and each chakra has a different gift so once you start learning how to assess your own chakras and I've got other videos that are going to teach you more about that but once you can assess your own chakras you can start knowing which chakras are, are your strongest chakras and which chakras might need more support so when I first started learning how to assess energy remember energy is the physical conduit that connects the mind with the body, okay? So when I first started sensing energy, lower frequencies, higher frequencies, any frequencies, I did it kinesthetically. And the chakra that you use to sense energy is the first chakra. So the first chakra, you sense energy kinesthetically. So you can touch it, you can feel the heat, the sensation, the temperature changes, you can sense sharpness or dullness, smoothness, coherency, incoherency. That is all kinesthetically assessed through the gifts of your first chakra. And then as my gifts started to grow, and it's more about self-confidence, I became more confident in assessing energy. Um, I started feeling emotions and beliefs in other people's body and my own. So I could sense anger, I could sense negative beliefs, I could sense past lives, all sorts of emotional related material. And that's done through the second chakra. And then I started noticing I had this gut feeling when somebody would call or I'd all of a sudden know I should call my son because something happened. It was a gut feeling. So that's through the third chakra. So you sense intuitively through that third chakra. The fourth chakra you sense 
information about relationships and love is through the fourth chakra. Feelings about relationships and love you sense through the fourth chakra. Fifth chakra is what people tend to channel. If you've heard of channeling, when people start talking and they channel, that's through the fifth. You can also taste and smell energy through the fifth. So how do you taste and smell energy through the fifth? I'll tell you a story. I was teaching a workshop in the city and I was a little bit late to dinner and so I called my son and I said, honey, please put the pizza in the oven so you know it's warmed up and I can come home and we can all eat as a family then. And I said, but set the timer because uh, you don't want to burn the pizza. So I was driving home and all of a sudden my car <laughs> started smelling of burnt pizza. That's sensing through the fish chakra. So I called my son and he answers the phone, yeah, mom, I know, I forgot to turn off the oven. <laughs> and so we had a smoky house I came home to and we had to go out to dinner. So yeah, you can sense smelling and tasting and you hear, channeling you hear through the fish chakra. For instance, I'm, I don't have a script right now. I'm just hearing and then saying what I hear. That's through my fifth chakra. And then you have the sixth chakra. And this is what I hear is everybody's favorite chakra to sense energy from because they all want to see energy because we've decided that seeing is believing. So I'm going to ask you to just let go of that need because it can block your ability to sense energy if you only have to see it. But the truth is, I find that sensing energy is the easiest thing to teach people because you're already doing it. You just don't know you do it. For instance, when I was at the Barbara Brennan School of Healing and studying, I was doing a se senior project and um, I passed with flying colors and they wrote that I saw energy. I'm like, I see. And then I realized I did see energy. When I described what was happening in my client's field, I would use the word see. And I realized, wow, I really do see energy. So sometimes we don't know we're sensing energy, and I'm using the word sensing, not seeing, because I really, really want you to open to other ways of tracking and connecting to energy without just needing to see it with your eyes. So in the sixth chakra, you can see energy directly, like I can see my arm right now, and you can see energy on your mind screen. So when I close my eyes, I can say, hmm, let me assess my dog's energy field. And I can feel and see my dog on my mind screen where their blocks and where their flows in my dear beloved Black Lab's field. <sighs> and you can see symbolically. I had a client that came in and I'm not really into the symbols when I work with clients or myself but all I could see was dragons all over this client. And I'm like, mm, I knew it wasn't my personal symbol. So I'm like, hmm, do you like dragons? And they're like, oh my God, everybody, all these healers tell me I have dragons in my field. And basically it was her power animal that held a certain frequency that she needed to nurture herself with, yeah? So you can see symbols, and you can also see um, geometric symbols. I used to see when I was doing hands-on healing with a client, I'd stand at their feet, and I'd see this whole geometric shape in front of them. So that's how you see through the sixth chakra. And please, when we do these exercises, um, open to radical intuition, which means you don't necessarily have to pick everything up through seeing. So the way I sense energy now is often through the sixth and the seventh together. So for instance, the seventh chakra is about direct knowing. Have you ever just known something was true? 
That's the seventh chakra. And when I know what I see, when I look at a client or when I'm assessing my own field, that's working the seventh and the sixth together. So that's step one, kind of understanding how the, your chakra system, your strongest chakras can support you in seeing. Oops, I said seeing, I meant sensing. See, we all want to just see energy, sensing energy. So that's, that's kind of the basic structure that we're going to work off of. The second thing that helps you sense and track energy is connection. If you're in defense and you're not connected to your bigger, more brilliance, it's going to cloud the perception. If your client is in defense, it's going to be harder to read their field. You will maybe sense the defense, but you won't really sense the deeper emotions that are, or the pain under the defense. The other thing to consider is, are you connected to your physical body? So in this radical intuition, we're going to first learn how to connect to our physical body, and then we're going to actually expand our field and sense some stuff. Ready? So in this next exercise, we're going to first sense what's going on in our body, and then we're going to try sensing somebody else's field. So if you're not connected to your physical body, or if the emotion, belief, past life, developmental trauma, ancestral lineage issue, whatever lower vibrational consciousness of pain, challenge is held in the physical body, if it has too big of a charge, it's going to be hard to sense it. So we want to pick something that's not too dramatic or difficult to sense. Okay. So the first thing is to scan your body. So I want you to kind of breathe, scan and connect to your head, connect to sensations in your head and neck. And we're going to scan down through our body and where you feel guided intuitively, where you slow down as we scan downward through the body, that's where you, you will stop. And then we'll assess what emotion or belief is held there. So let's breathe, kind of come inside, close your eyes, kind of scan from the top of the head to the center of the neck. Slowly bring your breath and awareness down through your shoulders, upper chest and upper neck, upper chest, upper back, breathe into it. When I first connect to a client that hasn't done a lot of personal work, most of the lower vibrational consciousness, the emotional pain and challenge, is in their upper body. So kind of check out your upper body. Breathe into it. And then let's do our midsection. There's always stuff in the third chakra because the ego is held there. Kind of breathe into it. Mm. Kind of notice where you slow down or where you definitely don't feel any sensations. That's probably an area that's holding subconscious material of pain. And then move through the lower body Breathe into it. Take your time, pause the tape when you need to. Find a spot. And if it's a spot that you can easily put your hand on, place your hand on it. Kind of let the energy of your hand go into it. Connecting breath with awareness, breathe into it. Just kind of see what comes up for you. If you try to feel it, it's going to be hard. I want you to let your mind wander and then come back to it. Kind of notice what you notice, discount nothing. Do you feel heat? Is there tingles or flows or sensations? Do you feel an emotion or a belief? That's the second chakra. 
but you get an intuitive gut hit from the third? Or do you feel it's about relationships or love through the fourth? Listen. See what happens through the fifth or smell, taste. What do you see on your mind screen or directly? And what do you just know? Just kind of be with it. Discount nothing, see what's there. And now here's gonna be the most difficult part of this radical intuition. You gotta trust yourself. The first hit you get, believe it, trust it. So let's say it's a negative emotion, negative belief, it's a negative past life, whatever it is. I want you to just kind of send love to that part of your area. If you can touch it with your physical hands, that's great too. Pause the tape at any time that you need to just be with it. Then when you feel you're in loving contact with it, I want you to imagine the positive alternative, that energy coming in. So if it's a trauma victim energy, imagine courage coming in. If it's sadness, imagine joy and comfort coming in. Take a moment to think of the positive alternative and then we'll shift it. Again, pause the tape when you need. Now I want you to imagine that divine mind coming into it, connecting to it with a positive belief. See that energy, imagine it, feel it as a sensation, feel the emotion. Surrender in and receive the higher frequency into that area. Connecting breath with awareness. Surrender, receive. Really, really good. Remember, it's just energy, it's not you. Do not have your sense of self be defined by that pain. So pause, breathe with it, receive in. And then if there's anything left over, imagine it leaving, giving it to your spirit guides, letting it go to the quantum potential. And this time let it leave your body like like steam off hot cement. Let it leave your body. That steam coming off the hot cement, letting the energy dissipate and go away. So welcome to your great radical intuition exercise. If you need extra support, feel free to reach out. Blessings and love on your travels.